Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and Merry Christmas! As you can tell from me and my wonky AF Christmas tree, it is Christmas and I am here with an ASOS haul. So over the last few weeks I have done multiple orders to fill the gaps that I feel like my wardrobe has this time of year. I have realised that I have outgrown lots of clothes so lots of these items are replacing my favourite things that I was wearing this time last year. As always I will link everything down below if you want to grab anything that I've shown you in this haul. I've got things like boots, I've got skirts, I've got leather trousers which are my absolute favourite thing to wear at the moment. I will tell you all about them when we get to it. And I also think I have a few Christmas gifts that would be good for like stocking fillers or little secret Santas. Obviously before we get into this I would really appreciate if you could like this video and subscribe if you are new. I know a lot of you that are watching this will be new. I'm pretty new to this channel. I haven't uploaded in probably half a year so it would be lovely to end the year and kick off the new year with some new subscribers and some new faces. So without further ado let's get into the ASOS stuff. Okay so the first two things are BU monthly patches. These are an absolute godsend. If you have painful periods or you get like cramps or back problems these honestly i don't know what's in them but they are absolutely incredible this is a pack of five patches i actually got these when asos had like a 20 percent off deal i think i think i do actually have an affiliate code for the bu website so i will leave it down below if i have a code as well to get you money off of these but honestly i could not survive having a period without one of these patches basically i don't really know the science behind it but it has essential oils cooling comfort where you need it most it is basically like a little cooling strip that you just pop on your like underneath your belly they are absolutely incredible honestly i have been buying these for about three or four years now they are incredible i could not go without them so here is me stocking up on some more and then if you follow me and my friends over on instagram you will understand the term girl boss bottle this is a girl boss bottle so it's just a water bottle from typo it says happiness is on the way and it has a little sun and cloud um yeah like i said these are from typo they are just a one liter drinks bottle all of mine are getting a bit grubby now so i thought i would treat myself to a new one this would be an absolute brilliant christmas present or a little stocking filler i know i would be really appreciative if i got one of these as my christmas present also along the lines of non-clothing things i've got this oats cleansing balm from the inky list i've been using this for just over a week now and it is hands down my favourite balm cleanser that I've ever used. When we were in New York in September a lot of the girls bought a cleansing balm and I really enjoyed taking my makeup off with a balm and this is my favourite one that I have tried out so far. Okay now on to clothes probably while you're watching this video. I've just moved to the side here so I can do a little cutout of me trying the things on. I will also leave the sizes and all the other details down below. Also sorry if you can hear the crows. I'm filming right by the window and it sounds like they are are having a party. So first up are these leather trousers. This time last year I was introduced to leather trousers. I was always a leather legging girl but I started wearing leather trousers and they are my absolute favourite thing to wear this time of year. So the ones that I was wearing last year don't have the same fit. So I gave the old pair to charity and I have finally settled on this pair. Honestly I probably tried on above 15 pairs of leather trousers and none of them quite fit me like the the other ones did but these are the closest match and I love them. The label says that they are capsule but I think they are Simply Be or yours obviously I will link them down below but yeah they are just these plain black straight leg leather trousers and then they just have a little seam in the middle I feel like the seam just adds a little bit of detail I think if you wear faux leather or like this PU fabric sometimes it can be a bit unflattering but having the seam in the middle it just gives it a bit of something. One thing I really do like about these as well is that they've got really nice deep pockets on the side and they have some little fake pockets at the back. Something I'm wearing right now are actually these jeans. I will pop a little cut out here of these jeans in more detail but they are the new look Tory jeans. I love these jeans. I've recently rediscovered them. I didn't have a pair that fit me for the longest time. I think I loved them at the beginning of 2020 or the end of 2019 I want to say and I've recently rediscovered my love for them and these are just great. I feel like they really are a pair of jeans that go with absolutely everything. You can dress them up or dress them down and yeah can't vouch for these jeans enough whereas on the other side of the spectrum 
are these. As I was on the lookout for some more jeans, I thought, you know what? I haven't tried Topshop in a little while as well. But let me tell you, I nearly cried when I tried these on. So these are actually a size UK 18. If you didn't know, then I used to work for Topshop when I was at uni before it was bought by ASOS. So I have a pretty good understanding of Topshop sizing, but I thought I would try them again. So this is a size 18 straight leg jean. And honestly, I couldn't even do these up. I don't know why I thought I was going to get away with the 16 as well. I tried on the 18 first. Obviously they didn't fit, so I have absolutely no chance with the 16. Yeah, I would have thought by now they would have sorted out their sizing, but obviously not. So these are going straight back. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I bought a lot of pieces which my wardrobe was missing. And I thought one of the pieces that my wardrobe was missing was a brown trench coat. I have seen lots of girlies on Instagram wear brown trench coats. And this one caught my eye. It is just an ASOS design, size 16. I think it is called like a boyfriend fit. If you know what I mean when I say it's more of like a greeny khaki brown than it is like a chocolate brown. It's just got these tortoise shell button details and goes straight down to the time the back. This just didn't fit me like I thought it would. There has been a brown trench going around on Instagram. I think it is from Stradivaria and it has been out of stock for absolutely ages. So when I saw this, I was like, yeah, perfect. This is going to look fab, but it just really didn't hit like I thought it was going to. But if you know me, I don't give up. So, I turned on my stock notifications and the Stradivarius one did come back in stock, so I grabbed it. This is in an extra large. I think that equates to a size 14 in Stradivarius. I'm not too sure, but this is lovely. I'm so glad I put on the stock notifications for this one because this fits so, so much nicer than the ASOS one. I cannot wait to wear this. I'm going to Winter Wonderland at the weekend, so I think I'm going to wear it there. Like I said, I feel like my wardrobe is missing a brown coat and I'm obsessed. So we are now moving on to the bits that I haven't actually tried on yet. So I've moved to the side. You can see the extension lead in the back and I will pop a little video of me trying these bits on. Okay, when some of you see this, you are going to be either very confused or very obsessed. So when I saw this little pink jumper on the website with a little white cat on it, I was a latter, I was obsessed. So I thought I would grab it. I think this year especially, it has seen a rise of the ugly jumper, which isn't actually ugly, but is really ugly and turns into being cute jumper. And this is definitely one of them. It is just a cropped pink jumper from Miss Selfridge with a little white kitten on it. And he slash she has a little collar and it is embellished with a tiny little bead would you call that a bead yeah, i think so oh my god the cat's actually really soft yeah this is either gonna be a love it or a hate it piece but personally i love it i think it's really cute and if you hate it just keep that opinion to yourself please i really don't need you telling me that you don't like it sticking with the jumpers i have got this swirly black and white pattern one from new look if you've been in any of the high street shops at the moment you will have seen zebra print is absolutely everywhere i don't really know if i am a fan of it so i thought this swirly print would be like a good me Medium. I got this one in a large and it is a really nice thick knit. I really do rate new look jumpers. I think they are some of the best on the high street. And yeah, I thought this would go with lots of different things. Okay, now this one is interesting. I have been after a little black slit skirt. I am fluctuating in sizes as every woman does, but I've been trying to find a black slit skirt that fits me for the longest time ever. So I got this just ASOS own one. I got it in a 16, but also an 18 and a 14 to try it out. I will let you know on screen which one fits me the best. But yeah, I I thought this was a really nice one. I think sometimes they look a bit like school uniform or like sixth form clothing. So I thought this one was quite nice. The slit is quite small and it's not very outrageous, which is probably best because it will go with a lot more outfits. Um, but yeah, I feel like everyone's wardrobe needs a little black slit skirt. A very good basic to have this time of year. Doing a little 360, going back to Topshop, one thing I know that does fit me are their t-shirts. This is just a washed gray little t-shirt. I got it in a size large, but then on the back has this gorgeous like tie dye print. I think it might actually be a piece of art. It says studio piece C8. I thought this would be really cool. Even if I wear the print on the front lid with some gold jewelry, I think it would look really cool. I am a huge fan of t-shirts any time of the year, but when it comes to this time of the year, tend to go for darker t-shirts just so they can be layered easily with light layers to make them a bit more edgy if you know what I mean. And then in the summer, I actually got some black flares from Amazon. They were from the brand only. And when I saw 
saw that they actually had these on ASOS, I thought they would be really cute. These are just some brown check flares and I wear the black ones of these absolutely all the time. They are a different material to the black ones that I've got, but I got them in the same size. These are a size XL. So we will see how these fit. I've been on Pinterest quite a lot lately and I have been seeing like jazzy trousers styled up with cool funky t-shirts and a blazer. So I thought these would be a really cool piece to mix and match this autumn winter. Oh, I've got another BU thing. I think these caught my eye because I was looking for the other patches, but these are different. These are actually cooling forehead patches. Touch wood, I haven't had one in quite a long time, but when I get migraines, I find the cool and soothe, the little forehead strips are really helpful. And since I like the other patches so much, I thought I would give these ones a go. Sorry, the camera cut out, but we are almost done. Next up is this gorgeous cropped t-shirt. It's like a band tee, but at the bottom, it has the coolest jazzy little sequin, what are these called, like embellishment, by Monte details. Yeah, I thought this would be really cool. One thing I absolutely love about fashion and clothing is that you do not have to stick to one style for the whole of your life. So when I saw this, I was like, yes, I will live my edgy girl dreams, but then have a little bit of like a cute, insta baddie with the embellishment at the bottom i think this would look really cool with some jeans but also i think it would look really cool with the black slip skirt and some knee-high boots definitely so these are like the final bits to the haul and if you've been following me for a while over on instagram you will know that i have these croc boots that i have had since probably 2020 so going on two years now they are originally from misguided i don't think they sell them anymore but i also have a pair from amazon but when i saw these on the website I couldn't resist. They are like these patent black shiny croc boots. I'm a bit nervous about them going up so high because I'm not too sure if they're actually going to fit me. I got them in a regular fit and also a wide fit just to try and get them to fit me. So I will update you if they do fit me. So yeah, that is everything that I have picked up in the last few weeks from ASOS. Like I said, I will link absolutely everything below. If you do get a chance, let me know which bit is your favorite and if you do purchase anything, then head over to my Instagram and let me know. If you did make it this far through the video, then thank you very much because I know I haven't been very consistent with uploading on this channel, but I'm going to make it my mission in 2023 to get more consistent at YouTube. So keep your eyes peeled for that and I will see you in the next one. See you later, bye.